Hello everyone, welcome to this video. This is the eighth video in the series of videos that I'm doing on Windows Server 2022 administration. And in this video, we're going to set up a DHCP role to manage the IP addresses uh, that we are going to use both dynamic and static assignment. I'll show you how to do that. Now, quickly before we start the lab, this is where we are. Okay, we have created one domain controller and the second domain controller and we are using a domain name cloud.local and we are assigning all the IP addresses by hand right now okay and 10.0.0.1 and 10.0.0.2 I have two client machines one Windows 7 uh, that I have assigned 10.0.0.3 and Windows 10 another client 10.0.0.4 and if you have configured all the IP addresses correctly all by hand they all should be able to talk to each other and the DNS should also be working so you can ping from say Windows 7 back to this domain controller one just using cloud.local and you should get a response back now in this video what we would like to do so if you look at our virtual box setup as well so we have domain controller one domain controller two Windows 7 and Windows 10 we would go to the DC one and we're going to install the, the DHCP role now once again right now the network setting I have for all of these uh, machines their internal network and connected to the internet now with that let's open up our uh, Windows Server 2022 and let's get started with the DHCP role installation let's see if I have it did not have the correct password let's see if it works here yeah. so now I'm inside my uh, domain controller one okay so you can always click the local server and verify that you are your computer name is DC one and we have shown how to change your computer name if it's not correct is connected to the uh, local cloud.local domain right now to install roles if you go back to the dashboard and if you see what are the roles that i have available here is this is the active directory domain services that was the first role that we have installed and then I promoted this Active Directory domain services to a domain controller and at that time the DNS role got installed. Files and storage was automatically installed as soon as you install a Windows Server 2022. Okay now so we need to add another role. So to do that just click on add roles and features and then hit next. It is going to be a role based so I'm going to hit next. This is the computer where uh, or server where I'm going to install the DHCP role. So hit next again. Now from the list, we need to find the DHCP and it's right over here. I see DHCP server and it will pick up uh, add rules that are required for DHCP. You just have to say yes, add feature. So we do that. Then click next and click next again and uh, things to note you should configure at least one ip address on this computer so if you if your ip address is not configured is dynamic you probably you're gonna have some error so make sure that at least your domain controller that you're running is actually statically configured okay and you should always plan your subnets your scope and exclusions okay what you want to use before uh, you install the DHCP server that's going to help you a lot designing your network properly okay I'm going to hit next so I typically always choose restart the machine if it's required as part of the role installation and I'm going to say okay and then hit install and that should start the installation process now it may take like a minute or so so I'm going to pause the video and uh, well while it's going on let me tell you about one other thing so uh, the thing that I wanted to mention is uh, it's very typical in a smaller organization that you will see that DHCP is actually installed as part of the domain controller but you are more likely to see that in a larger organization you may find there are servers that are dedicated to DHCP role and not installed 
in your domain controller. Now the installation just got finished. Just like the Active Directory domain services, we had to do some post configuration. At that time, we had to do a DC promo. Here, you gotta do a DHCP configuration, okay, to make this server or the role really usable. So let's just get started and see what this configuration does, okay? Okay, so what you see with the post installation wizard, uh, one thing is very important that it's gonna create two different security groups for the delegation of the DHCP server, okay? One is known as the DHCP administrators and another DHCP users, okay? So if this DHCP is, was actually installed in another server, you had to authorize the DHCP server okay, with the Active Directory. And to do that, you needed uh, an a enterprise administrator account. And you will see that in here as well. So let's click Next. And what you see here, you are going to authorize this DHCP server in your Active Directory domain services. Here, the username is the Cloud Administrator that user is available in this active directory domain services already and we can and hit commit in this case and that let's see it says fail to open key target computer let's see why did it fail uh, give me one second and let's troubleshoot this one okay, it was interesting that it gave us an error what I'll do one more time is going to click on the complete DHCP configuration and see what happens again the same wizard I'm going to go hit next now this administrator should be an administrator or an enterprise administrator user so I should not be having any problem with this one let's try one more time creating commit okay so here again I'm getting some problem so let's see what it says fail to open registry key on target computer to set the status of post configuration task, when RM cannot process the request following the error code occurred while using Kerberos authentication, there is a time or date difference. Okay, okay, okay. So sometimes what, what happens? It's it's not a server problem. It's a, a problem with the virtual machine. So what the, what you do? You just restart if you ever see a time conflict. Okay, it's time synchronization problem. So let's do that. Let's just uh, restart this computer. And there are multiple ways to do that. I'm just gonna go to our virtual box and I'm just gonna close this one right there and right here and this part of the machine, okay? And I'm gonna restart the machine. And it's not, again, it's not a, a problem within the server, you just have to make sure it happens time to time for whatever reason with the uh, Oracle virtual box. So now it's turned off, turned off. So I'm gonna turn it back on and see if that problem is automatically resolved. Most likely you are not going to see the problem. So if you are not having the problem, good luck. Your uh, DHCP is most likely successfully installed. But for us, let's go back to the server let me pause and when I get inside the server, I will restart. Okay, I have restarted the server, so let's just get in. And now we are inside the server. And what we will have to do, uh, click on this shine and it says, you know because it, it was uh, we got an error it says it's still not done we need to complete the DHCP configuration so let's click on that one again I'm just gonna do the same thing and look this time I don't have any error at all so this time we are successful DHCP post configuration wizard is now successful so it created those security groups and no Okay, okay, okay. So this one authorization was already done, but somehow the security group was not completely done. So right now, 
This one is a little weird. The authorization of DHCP server failed with the record this. The specific servers are already present in the database service. That's what we want. If the DHCP server is not authorized by ADDS, it cannot respond to DHCP request. But I think for your case, it you probably you are gonna see done for both of them uh, because this one was already done and the other person was having some trouble. So I think we are good here. So let's click this one and you see that thing is now gone and it says uh, you know your post deployment is complete for DHCP server so we are good to go now let's come back over here and this problem only happens because I'm using uh, your virtual box environment in a real environment you probably won't see this error and hopefully you have not uh, before I finish this portion of the video I want to make sure that you have all four roles now showing up in your lab environment your Active Directory Domain Services, your DHCP, your DNS, okay, all of that are available. And if you go to cool tools, I would expect that you have a DHCP tool that's now available to you as you open it, open it up. So here is your DHCP, and you have some stuff in here. It may not be configured, but at least you have all the tools that we are going to use in the next video to set up our IP configurations in our environment. Okay, so let's meet in the next video and start the DHCP configuration process. Thank you for watching this one.